morning to all this is ganesh today we are discussing about uh, ray diagrams for the concave mirror last class we already showed that mirror formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v and uh, different positions which type of image we are formed in different positions in a uh, ray diagrams and last class see here today we are discussing the ray diagram for the concave mirror Let's see. So it is a geometrically, it is a spherical shape. So this spherical shape, uh, which type of mirror? It is a concave mirror. How can we identify the concave mirror? Here, outside of the lines, uh, if it is, that is called the concave mirror. On the concave mirror, we are identically we are choose that uh, middle point that is pole. The pole can be extended uh, rather one line. The line is known as principal axis. On a principal axis, we are taking one object. The object can be there are two source of two incident rays we are taking. One ray is it is a parallel to the principal axis, so it is incident ray parallel to the principal axis get reflected ray. And one more thing, another incident ray, so we will get a reflected ray. These two reflected rays, it is having an intersection. Point at A. So I have to one hold the paper. I have to take one paper. Keep the position of A. So we can catch the clear image on the screen. So if you, for example, the screen is the paper. We have to keep in front of A means forward A or backward A. So we cannot catch on the screen clear. So that's why we are understanding. For example, I have to take a paper. The position of B, we cannot catch that. Up. So we cannot uh, catch that uh, clear image because of that's why we are understanding here and uh, this information. So first one is so here. If we hold the paper at any point before we see that reflected ray, we'll meet paper different points. So with different points, if you keep. So before A or after A, we cannot catch the Im image. And second one is the image cannot be formed at all this point. So except A point, we cannot form the uh, image at all this point. So see here. So have we formed the image B position? No, that's why B they won't. And next one is the image object will sharp image where we have to form on the position of A. So if you A uh, backward of A or forward of A, we cannot uh, appear. Means which type of image? It can be if you appear that image, it will be blurred. So that's why we are understanding from the uh, first ray diagram. So next uh, the rules of concave mirror. Very very important, isn't it? So how many rules are we have? Three rules. What is their rule one? Rule two? Rule three? So rule one, what we are represented? All of you see here. So it is a which mirror? The mirror is represented outside of the line. That is the concave mirror. So here, on the concave mirror, we are identically geometrically midpoint that is pole. It is principal axis. The object we are taking on the principal axis. So it is an incident ray. So the incident ray, how it is? It is a parallel to the principal axis. So every incident ray, what should we have? Get reflected. So here get reflected. The reflected ray is passed through which point? Focal point. Okay. That's why we are understanding the from the rule one. Rule one, what we are understanding? If the any object, object means it is incident ray. The ray is traveling to strike on the specific point on the uh, concave mirror. Will get reflected. The reflected ray is passed through the focal point. Okay, so that's why we are understanding this incident ray. How it is? The respect to the uh, principal axis, it is a parallel. Okay, so in between incident and the reflection, we are uh, assuming one line that a line is extended to the center of curvature. And uh, see here. So that's why we are rule one. The rule one what is? The ray is parallel to the principal axis. Will get uh, reflected. 
the the uh, they passes through focal point of the mirror that is first rule and second rule rule two see same it is a concave mirror so it is a pole it is principal axis on principal axis we are taking a uh, one object the object we are taking so once listen here the ray is travel to that uh, focal point so the ray is the incident ray is pass through focal point get reflected you get reflected the reflected ray is respect to the principal axis how it is it is both are parallel okay so these two lines are how it is not a parallel so because of what we are understanding the so here we have to r1 we are represented the ray one it is a r2 so the r2 ray is passes through focal point or strike on the specific of concave mirror will get reflected the will get reflected the reflected ray how it is respect to that uh, principal axis both are parallel so that's why we are understand so here the ray is passes through focal point will get uh, of concave mirror will get uh, reflected the reflected ray how it is parallel to the axis after reflection and uh, <coughs> rule 3 so rule 3 very very important so if the any so it is a concave mirror on a concave mirror we are identically mid point pole it is principal axis on a principal axis uh, we are taking one object the object is passes through center of curvature the object from that the incident ray passes through center of curvature so then uh, center of curvature if it is a uh, travel after the reflection will uh, it will travel along the same line along the same line but in opposite direction so ikkada manam gamaninchalsi enti ante incident ray reflected ray ఇవి రెండు ఒకే లైన్ లో ఉంటాయి కానీ ఏ డైరెక్షన్ లో ఉంటాయి సార్ అంటే ఆపోజిట్ డైరెక్షన్ లో ఉంటాయి మరి ఇన్సిడెంట్ రే అన్నప్పుడు ఈ ఆరో ఈ విధంగా పెట్టాలి రిఫ్లెక్టెడ్ అన్నప్పుడు ఈ విధంగా పెట్టాలి ఓకేనా సో దట్స్ వై ఇట్ ఈస్ రూల్ త్రీ సో రూల్ త్రీ పాసింగ్ త్రూ సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ కన్వీచర్ పాసింగ్ త్రూ సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ కన్వీచర్ ఆఫ్ కాన్కేవ్ మిర్రర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇన్సిడెంట్ రే ఆఫ్ ద మిర్రర్ గెట్ రిఫ్లెక్టెడ్ will travel along the same line along the same line but in opposite direction next we go through the rules of convex mirror see here same concept uh, what is the different here and here so concave mirror we are identically outside of the line but convex mirror inside of the line okay how can we identify the concave mirror and convex mirror convex mirror we are identically it is inside of the line so one we'll see here it is we you know that midpoint of pole principal axis okay so here we are taking one uh, ray ray means uh, the source of ray so object is here having the ray is incident ray how it is it is respect to that uh, principal axis uh, parallel so here the ray is once the ray parallel to the principal axis the ray is parallel to the principal axis get reflected get a reflected reflected after the reflected appears it is comes from the focal point the comes from the ekkadu nunchi vachinattu ga kanipistha sir ante focal point so it is comes from the ray it is a focal point and a rule too so it is a inside of the line that is a convex mirror so it is a incident ray so after incident ray will get a reflected the reflected ray is parallel to the principal axis so completely uh, this is conversion of uh, rule 1 this so it is a uh, the ray is traveling in the direction of a uh, focal point after reflection will become a uh, parallel to the axis so parallel to the axis so incident reflection reflection ray it is respect to that principal axis how it is parallel parallel to the principal axis see here and rule 3 same concept here and here so it is incident ray so the incident ray strike on the convex mirror get reflected 
but uh, how it is it is a opposite direction the when we are extended to the lights that is a uh, it is uh, uh, center of curvature so we see a traveling the a traveling in the direction of center of curvature will on reflected in the opposite direction incident ray and get a reflected so that's why it is very very rules of we have to follow ray diagrams uh, in a concave mirror and a convex mirror so thank you